Welcome back to What Are Noobs for General Disturbance. This is a Valiant, the A38. It's a tier 5 British premium medium. It's located on Northspawn of Abbey and it's under the command of Provo Bob. Yes, he's back in action again, this time in the tank. And well, he's taking out what David Fletcher described as the worst tank Britain ever built. Now, it's basically supposed to be a development of the Valentine tank, which is why it's so slow. But the other reason why it's slow is because it's so heavy. 114 millimeters of armor at the front, 75 at the rears and 60 at the uh, 75 at the sides and 60 at the rears. It's designed really to shrug off any shells that were fired at it, but it was so badly designed that, well, after about half an hour, I think it was half an hour or an hour, the driver got out and said, I'm never going to drive that thing again because it was so bad on the inside. It really was diabolical. But it does have a 75mm gun and Wargaming have put it into the game to say, what if? What if it actually did work and the ergonomics were not bad? The 75mm is capable of 110 alpha, penetrating 91mm with standard ammo, and it goes up to 144 with the premium rounds, and that makes this tank quite tough to take down from the front, but also quite capable of dealing a lot of damage on the enemy if you can get shots on them. He tracked that uh, M881, or at least hit him in the tracks. Only two shots, but he's now going to move on. Now, we're not getting any engine sounds during the games in the first uh, 30 seconds or so of the game. Or well, In fact, actually, it's been a minute and a half into this game so far, and we haven't heard the engines. But they are coming back after a short while, so I think it's only a temporary hiccup, and Wargaming will probably bring in a patch that fixes the problem. It's a Tier 5 game, and it's got Tier 4 tanks in it. He's now engaging a Type T-34 Chinese medium. Trying to make up his mind which way he's going to go. Remember, he's got very heavy armour at the front. He just blocked a shell from that M8A1. He's now put a round into the Chihi. Ah, now they're starting to fire HE at him instead. And they've managed to get the driver. So he didn't get out and walk away. He actually died in the machine. He hasn't fixed the driver yet, but I don't think he needs to. He just needs to engage these guys, get rid of them. There goes the M8A1. Unfortunately, our M8A1 died to the cheeky, but that guy, rather cheeky, the type, managed to go over onto the island. Uh, well, I'm afraid Provo Bob's just going to finish you off if you stay over there. Even though we're taking rounds from the cheeky, he cannot get through the armour. He hasn't always... Oh, uh, the DW2's firing heat rounds at us. But he's only got a 5cm gun, so it's a bit difficult for him to actually pen. Okay, he's potentially, he's got a steel wall at the moment, but the enemies are still there, so he needs to move forward to avoid getting sh shot in the side by that DW2. Puts one into the Type T-34. Now, where is that... Uh, oh, he's actually, he's come up that Type T-34. Puts around into the chi -he. He's not a one-shot yet, but two more shots and he's out of the game. I think he's reluctant to push around the corner because he knows there's three enemies around there. Cheeky's very reluctant to poke as well simply because he knows that he's having difficulty trying to get through the armour on the Valiant. Hello. Tracks him. That's better. One through the Coppola and he's finished. He's also completed another mission. And we still haven't got the engine sounds back. <laughs> I don't know what more gaming did when they fixed 1.10.1, uh, but I'm afraid, yep, you've um, certainly buggered up the engines. <laughs> Okay, well, the M4A1 is determined to get himself into trouble, and now he's run into the uh, DW2, and he's run into the front of us. Yeah, don't bite off more than you can chew in any one moment. And now he's actually trying to retreat, and he's run into uh, Probo Bob. And, well, Probo Bob is 
not doing the right thing here. He should back off and allow this guy to retreat so he can finish off the DW2. But in fact, he was just blocking that M4A1 from pulling back. And he didn't appreciate that. And he shot the guy in the rear. And that may cost you a high caliber at the end of the game by doing that. So very bad by Provo Bob. Admittedly, the M4A1 should have thought about the fact that he had somebody behind him. And when he backed up, he should have gone around Provo Bob to get behind him. But instead, Provo Bob blocked him and even tried to potentially push him forward at one point. And I do not appreciate that because that's the action of a troll. So we still haven't heard the engine noises from this game. We can hear the, the gun cycling, but we cannot hear the engine. So Wargaming, I think you've done something to the sound files. You can see he did take some damage in that game. A few holes in the turret and the shots in the side. Those are the heat rounds or is that the HE rounds actually that he received. Ah, at last the engine noises arrive. That's better. And well, we've got a Wolverine. Now he's got a 76 millimeter gun. Okay, he's doing a lot of damage. Well, 75 millimeters, sorry. But there's a Matilda Black Prince there. And that guy's got a lot of armor. And well, Provo Bob is all out of APCR. But he finishes off the Matilda with a very accurate shot. Now, potentially, he's got the high caliber, but we know he's going to lose that because he shot his teammate in the ass, and he shouldn't have done that. So he might find he's a medal short at the end of the game. We'll have to see if that actually happens. The thing is, Provo Bob does know that you're not supposed to shoot your own teammates. However much angry you might feel for them doing whatever they do, do not shoot them. Because it will cost you in the long run. Wargaming left in a proviso that even if there's no team damage, you can still lose a medal by firing on your teammates. He's now trying to hit a Matilda with standard ammo. And he's having a lot of difficulty. But he's blocking the shots coming from Matilda. Ah, now he's not blocking them. That's the two pounder squeeze ball. And the best thing he can do at this moment is get out of the way of that gun. Otherwise, he's going to be history. Now, he does have a Wolverine on his team. And that guy is coming south. At least I hope he's coming south to help with this Matilda. There he is. Aim for the uh, weak spots. Go for the driver's support. Oh, did he pen? He's going for the mantlets. One more shot. Yes, thank goodness. He lost virtually all of his hit points in that game. And the m and M8A1 just died by crashing. And that's it. The game's over. It was a reduced numbers game. And he's won. He's still alive. Now, did he get the high caliber or was it disqualified? He didn't get it. No, because of that stupid shot into the rear of his M4A1 as he was departing on the river road. He lost the high caliber. Yep, he got an ace tanker. His first ace tanker in this vehicle. Got a fire for effect for doing more damage in the hit points to his own vehicle. A shell proof for blocking more damage in the hit points to his own vehicle. A duelist for taking down two tanks that damaged him. And a hand of God for surviving the battle having received damage from four different enemies. He did pick up a top gun for killing at least six enemies. That last tank, the Matilda, was his sixth kill. And he did get the steel wall because he was alive at the end and he blocked the most damage. But no high caliber because he was stupid. And I'll say that straight out to his face. You were stupid, Provo Bob. You don't need to shoot your own teammates in the rear. In fact, if you can help it, you don't want to shoot them at all. But sometimes I know it does happen accidentally if they drive in front of you. His win eight from the game was 6,067. Let's have a look at the team score and see how much damage he did. Well, yes, he definitely qualified for the high caliber, 1,917. But it was taken away from him because he was an idiot. Well, idiot? No, he was stupid. 1,834 went to the Wolverine who picked up a high caliber instead. So, yes, you see... You didn't get it, but the Wolverine did because you were stupid. And the next high scorer was the Wolverine on the enemy team, 1,702. 
So uh, when it came to kills, he's got the highest number was six. The Wolverine picked up four. The other Wolverine picked up three. And when it came to base XP, yes, he's got the top in all three columns, but he's missing a medal because he was stupid. 1,244 XP for Provo Bob. 806 goes to the Wolverine and 540 goes to the Matilda. 37 direct hits, 27 penetrations, 20, uh, sorry, 27 direct hits, 37 shots fired, 27 direct hits, 20 penetrations, get it right, 1,917 hit points of damage, all of it done at close range, 30 hits received from the enemy, more than he, many more than he needed to get the steel wall, 11 penetrations, 15 non-penetrations and 4 hits by way of splash, 875 hit points of damage blocked by armour. He damaged 8 of the enemy, killed 6, did 337 hit points of damage assistance. And on a premium count he earned 41,033 credits, got 20,516 from personal reserves, 61,549 credits altogether, but he fired a lot of APCR during that game. And as a result, obviously he ended up with a loss, um, 7,179 credits lost from that battle. 25 bonds earned. 1,866 XP times 2 for the first victory, 746 for this being a premium vehicle, and 1,866 from premium personal reserve, sorry, and total of 6,344 experience points altogether. But you're missing a medal because you were stupid. Yes, you fired at your own teammate, shot him in the ass, and instantly gave up your medal, and it went to the Wolverine instead. So next time, don't shoot your teammates in the rear. Don't shoot them at all. No matter how angry you are with them, do not shoot at them. You are going to disqualify yourself from a medal if you do. So there you have it. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.